Hi, I'm Tara. Today I'm going to show you how to animate some items in Canva. So with Canva open, we're going to select videos and we're going to select a blank video. So the first one I'm going to show you is how to move an object from one side to the other. So we're going to just search for a playground just to set the scene. And we're going to go playground background and we're going to go for this one here. So we're just going to, you can either size to size or you can right click and set image as background. We're going to move a ball from the left hand side to the right. You can either select an animated ball or we can just select a an actual ball image and we can animate that using Canva. When we go over to elements and we're just going to search for ball under graphics I quite like this one here but there are lots of other um just because this is a pro image there are lots of balls that are not pro so just going to reduce the size of it and we're going to bring it over to the left hand side and then we're going to go to the top and we're going to click this animate so there's lots of um different options available but at the bottom before we actually move it we're going to add something called rotate so rotate as you can see is moving the kind of shine on it um, and we're going to go clockwise and we're going to increase the speed just slightly and then when we go to the top we're going to create an animation so when we click on this it tells you exactly what to do but if you click on your ball, hold shift and move it from the left to the right. There should be a, dot, a dotted line should appear. But when we click on steady, it kind of removes the wobble out of it, which is pretty good. And then you just click on done. And then when you play, you can see that your shine is moving, but also the ball is moving um, from left to right. It's pretty effective. It's it's a very kind of simple way of, of animating um, uh, a background or a part of a little little cartoon or whatever. But it's it's pretty effective. You can add different different elements to your background to make like to have other kind of small amounts of movement. You could have I'll just show you plant, and if we click on animated, and then just click off. We could add some of these into, um, obviously it's massive, <laughs> so we just have to reduce the size of it. And then to maybe there. It just makes for a slightly more interesting background, you know, because then there's, when you, when you hit play, there's other things moving as, apart from just the ball. So you can also do, so in the previous one we held shift and we just got it to roll from left to right. But if you wanted to actually bounce, you can do that as well. So um, so again, we, we move our ball to the left hand side. You can use, you can add a um, shape to give you a bit of a bit of a guide. So we'll just increase the size of this slightly and we're just going to flip it horizontally just so we can, just so we can follow it, as I say, it's just a guide, you can remove it afterwards. So we're going to select the ball and we're going to go up to animate. And again, we're going to create animation, but this time we're going to make it bounce. So instead of holding shift, you just click on the ball and we're just going to kind of follow this black line. So we're just going to, it's kind of rough or crude way of doing it. And then when you click on steady and click on done and then we're going to remove this black line and then when you go back to the start and hit play it kind of gives the impression that the ball is bouncing i think it's pretty good it's you know you can you can play around with it to get it like less shaky or you know you can increase the speed on it um by just clicking here and increase the speed on it and then go. 
as I say, it's pretty effective as well. So the next animation I'm going to show you is somebody walking on a street. So it's better, obviously, to use an animated graphic because if you don't, it just it just looks kind of peculiar. They look like they are just floating across the screen. I'll just show you. We're just going to I'm just going to put a, a street background. Street background. And we'll just go with this one. And we'll just increase the size of it. Just going to increase the size of this so it makes it more visible. And then I'm just going to go lady walking. And we're just going to pick, say, this lady here. Let's reduce the size because otherwise she looks like a giant. And if we do the same thing, animate, create animation, hold shift again and just bring her from right to left. And even by clicking on steady, when we then play that, she just looks totally unnatural because obviously her legs are not moving. So if you can avoid that, all the better. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove her and initially we need to just make the background bigger so by making the background bigger um you can do this kind of trick we want an actual animated lady this time so if you go up to the um filter at the top and click on animated and then i kind of like this lady here she's kind of cool looking so we're just going to reduce the size of her. We're going to put her just at this tree because otherwise um, otherwise she walks over the tree and that, that again doesn't look um, terribly natural. So we just put her there. And then we're going to click on the background and we're going to animate the background as opposed to animating her. So when you click on animate, we're going to create animation. You click on the right hand side, hold shift again and just bring it from the right to the left and then click steady again and click done and when you play it looks like she's walking along the street it's pretty cool I think it's a pretty good effect so there is another alternative to a walking person so although she is animated she is actually static if if that kind of makes sense she's not moving along the screen so what you can do, um, Canva don't actually have any of them in their library. So you can go and you can actually buy um, like short videos from any kind of stock image company such as Adobe Stock, which is what I did. So I'll just show you how that works as well. It, it's not as successful as you might imagine. Just be careful be before you actually go and buy one. So when we click on uploads and videos, I bought this one here so this lady so this this obviously has a background on it but because you can hit on it and you can hit background remover so when you um when you remove the background then you can um, place her wherever wherever it is you like but I'll just show you I'll just show you her walking which is really good so she walks say from she actually walks through the video but she has all of this kind of see-through effect on her because we have removed the background so so it doesn't work wonderfully and then I thought mm, I wonder is it because of it sh I should have bought like a green background because obviously that's better so <laughs> I went and got a green a green background version um, and that was even less successful because when you remove the background on it it takes like some of the arms and everything away so so you just need to be careful and the dog is obviously totally see-through now so that didn't work so I would unless you have really good graphics and you're sure that you're going to be able to remove the background successfully I actually would stick with Canva animated graphics because well we know they work and um and 
they're they're quite successful as i say if you if you move the background as opposed to moving the graphic itself it's it's it works just as well so the next one i'm going to show you is to do with match and move so without using the custom animation we're going to we're going to have two sections of a video and we're going to join them together using canvas ai which is it's really quite effective as well so the first thing we're going to search for is a road scene in graphics um i quite like this one here a bit of a desert scene and i'm just gonna make it fit and then we are going to look for a rollerblade girl and let me see can we find one and there is one there she's pretty cool so we're going to put her back out here okay so we just need to decrease the size of our actual board and we're going to make this bigger. I'm just going to center it back in and make her a bit bigger so she's not totally lost. So basically we're making so we're making the background bigger and her small and then in the next one we're going to make her big and the background small so they kind of um they kind of switch places which which shows their perspective and, and it works quite well. So just put her there and then we're gonna duplicate this. And then as I say, we're gonna reduce the size of this. And we're gonna increase the size of her. Okay, so then we're just going to increase the we're going to increase the length of each little movie, each section to nine seconds. So the reason we do this is then when we go in match and move, you have the most um, available time to join the two of them together. So then we're going to add the transition in between the two of them. So basically, if just hover over in between the two pages, we get a plus sign, which means add page. But then below that, it says add transition. So when you click on that, it'll bring you to a selection of transitions. And we're looking for one called match and move. And we're going to bring the duration out to four and a half seconds. So if these are much shorter, you only get a much shorter duration. So that's why um, we increased the length of each of them. So then when you play... You can see her moving towards you which is pretty cool but obviously there's a load of um, nothing happening at the start and nothing happening at the end so this is how we get rid of that you go up to the top and you click share and we're going to download it it already knows that it's a video because we're in video format and click on download and once it has downloaded we click on uploads upload files and we go and get where it is once it's uploaded we click on add a page and then you click on your upload file I'm just going to make it the same size so now it's one video we're just going to delete these two pages so you select both of them right click and hit on delete two pages so now we just have to you just have to find where the action starts and ends so when we go to the start and just roll it through and it just kind of starts on that split there so when we right click and split page or you just hit s on your on your keyboard and we roll it through to the next one and again split page and then we delete the first one delete the first one and the last one and then when we go to the start and hit play it's all kind of seamless and it's pretty cool 
So the last one that I'm just going to show you, to me, it's not it's not quite there. It is Canva's AI and the magic media. Mm, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really do what you imagine it's going to do. So um, but I'll, sh I'll show you anyway. When we click on on the left hand side and click on apps and we just search for magic media and you're looking for one, this one here, this magic media one. First of all, we're going to click on videos. And it says, describe what you'd like to create and are five plus words to describe what, what it is that you want it to generate. So I had, so a girl chasing a ball. So that's what I keyed in initially. Um, and I just show you what it generates with that. So it does take a couple of minutes. So you just have to let it kind of cook away and, um, and then you get this um, little video. So um, I didn't specify that I wanted a cartoon, but as I say, I'm not sure it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Cause I'll just show you why. Um, so I'll just make her the size and then we're going to hit play. So it's not a video it that's just a still image to me she's not she's not doing anything her her legs look a bit wonky anyway um but yeah it's <laughs> it's not a video so i know it says we're evolving this new technology and it absolutely is uh it is coming on in leaps and bounds i did wonder then was it because i had just used like the four words and you know there wasn't enough description so I went to um, ChatGPT and I got it to generate a prompt for me. So it, even if it's more involved, I will say that you can't use, you know, like in the style of Disney or in the style of Pixar. It uh, Campbell won't even he won't even get past the the generate again or generate because it won't it won't do it for you. It it sees it as total kind of copyright, I suppose. So. I have said illustrate a cheerful cartoon girl enthusiastically chasing a bouncing ball in a vibrant playground setting. Avoid imitating any specific cartoon style or character. Aim for a unique, lively scene that captures the essence of childhood joy and energy. So I just wondered, you know, did I did I get this image because I had used so few words? So we'll just generate again. And we'll see what it comes up with it. You know, it does, as I say, it takes it takes a couple of minutes. So we'll see what this one is like, seeing as we've given it a much more involved prompt. We literally just click on it and um, we press play. So again, she's not moving at all. There is stuff in the background that's moving, which is an improvement, I suppose. The sand is kind of kicking up and some of the like playground is moving I think are they yeah like there's a ball there and a ball I think it's a ball but when you look at the child like her hand is yeah I don't know uh, <laughs> anyway it's just as I say it's just not quite there yet and that's not to say that it it's not going to improve even in the next couple of months so um so keep trying it but in the meantime if you're looking how to animate stuff just go the the normal uh, using the elements and graphics it works super i hope you've learned something new today if you have please hit that like and subscribe